But first, we're going to go inside the home of TV and film actor James Wilder with Suzanne Senna, who was there for E. The old-style homes that I like, which are the 1920s, were all compartmentalized. So what I did is I took the old world styling and put modern world convenience into it. There's no formal dining room, because the dining room's right next to the kitchen without a wall, which is right next to the living room without a wall. When people walk in, I mean, this is the first thing they see. What do you think is conveyed here? I don't really know. I mean, you know, there's a shoe shine stand and a motorcycle and an elevator cage. Probably, uh, I don't know, it's just sort of eclectic, to say the least. What a kitchen this is. Tell me how often you cook here. I'm not a real cooker. You don't cook. I'm a real takeout guy. I love this thing. This actually used to heat the whole house. You throw your trash in here. No way. Yeah, this you'd put oil into because this would be burning. It's all burning on coal. Right. And it would, like, scent the whole house. This, you put toast in. This no. would be your toaster. I like to mix the really old with the really new. That's so, pretty new. Yeah. Now we're out at the pool. And this is the fourth floor, which is so cool. Yeah, I yeah. know. You're that up was... here in the sky, and you've got this pool. That's what I wanted. I wanted a, a pool on the fourth floor. <laughs> you know who uses the pool? No. My dogs. The dogs. They use the pool all the time. But these old-style houses had yeah. to have, like, secret passageways and yeah. things. So this is... These, these are cut books on a skill saw. This is a, pass, this is a secret door. This was just a space. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what, this is a swimming pool right above our head. Pools up there. Yeah, this oh. is a shallow end. This is the deep end. Why lots so, of I mean, what are you gonna, to, What yeah. are you going to do what with you, the room like this? Yeah. You know, you can't do anything. So I looked at it, and I thought, my God, this would be perfect for paintball. Hey, that's not bad. That's really good. Do you see yourself ever moving? I never see myself selling this house because I built it. I don't care if somebody walked up and goes, I'll give you a hundred million. Well, maybe a hundred million, but <laughs> if somebody gave me just a, an arm and a leg for the house, I couldn't because it's sort of, it's become a creation. 